Hey guys, this is GeeseQuest16. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. Well, we're back in the Stomping Plane, so we can get this dude this banjo, so we can do banjo as part of the Stomping Plane. So, horse split banjo and bazooie up. Okay, now that we have the snooze pack, we can go from one footprint to another. Okay, stop going to get this big massive foot. Now you will get squashed and lead you down to one honeycomb. So this is where you use your snooze pack to regain your health. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna go from next next footprint. Okay, let's keep on repeating the process until you get to the end. So stop it done gets done. Stop with this big massive foot. <laughs> ah dang it, I jumped a little bit too early. Last footprint. This is a slow process, but oh well. Okay, there we go. We've made it. Here's the banjo switch. Open that. And it's to another area. But we can't go through there yet because we can't leave Kazooie. So here we need to get Kazooie reunited. So. So just do the same thing with Kazooie like you did when you did her door. I'll get squashed here. Whew, that was close. And there we go. We are now, now let's go through here. Let's see where this area takes us to. And it's Hellfire Peaks, which is World um, 7. Yeah, this is, which is World 7. So that Jiggy won't count to the last Jiggy of Teradot to The last Jiggy is we need to fill Dippy's pool up. That Jiggy will count to Hellfire Peaks' jig 10 Jiggy. So we've already got, we haven't even opened Hellfire Peaks yet. We've already got its first Jiggy. Okay, so we are done in here for Teradot Land. We'll come back here after Dippy gets his pool filled so I can get that Cheeto page. Okay. Now that we have five pages, we are going to go back to Spiral Mountain into Grunty's Lair and get that next cheat. And those next two cheat. Okay. So let's go back to Jinjo Village and back to Spiral Mountain. Oh, there's something else we need to do there. We'll be fully complete with Spiral Mountain besides the cheats. Okay, go to this on the side, left side here in this pool and you see a kazooie uh, door. So this means it's on for the talon trot. Bust that door open and we'll get a Jinjo. Okay, so now let's go see Cheeto so we can get the next cheat. And again, I won't be using this cheat. I'm just going to show you what it is basically.
Okay, cheat number three is fall proof, so that's the next cheat. Fall proof and homing are the next two cheats we need to enter. There's many cheats, fetters, eggs, and now the new fall proof cheat that we'll enter. If I get enough time, which I probably think I will, I'll open Hellfire Pe open up Hellfire Peaks, which is the next one, so. Okay, so back onward to Mayhem Temple. Okay, oh yeah, I'm in the home and cheats, so it's... And with the home and cheat, we'll make eggs homing on baddies, so... Okay, next cheat we enter is fall proof. And the fall proof will keep you from being hurt in long falls. I'll go ahead and show you what that cheat is real quick. About the Anna homing cheat. Then I'll turn off the fall proof cheat. But I'll probably keep the homing cheat. Okay, there's the fall proof and the homing. Okay, here's the homing cheat. Watch when I fire this egg at this baddie here. Better find one. See, it'll go straight to him. Well, it kind of works, so. Okay, we're quickly here. I'm gonna show you what the fall proof cheat is. Okay, so whenever you jump off. See, you won't lose any honeycombs whenever you fall, so. So, yeah, when you fall, you won't lose any honeycombs, which kind of makes that cheat, but oh well, so. I'm going to go back in here and deactivate the cheat, so because I'm not going to be using it. But I'm still keeping the eggs and feather cheat on, and the home cheat. So we'll turn off the uh, fall proof cheat. Okay, we're going back out so we can open up Hellfire Peaks. So, which is World 7. And Hellfire Peaks is well that world I'd probably say is one of the world weirdest worlds in the game, so it's weird. And I can also tell Hellfire Peaks will be the first world that we get every single item, including Jiggy, so we won't have to backtrack to that world, so Okay, here we are, back at Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. So let's do, I guess this is the Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7, I do believe. And it is. Okay, go. Out 
Oh, no, it goes right here. No, we're not there, okay. And there you go, once we do that, we've completed number seven. Okay, turn on number seven. Okay, Hellfire Peach is of course in the Isle of Hex cliff top, so it's where next for Jolly Rogers Lagoon is. And yeah, we have not do number eight, but again, we're going to do it just yet. Oh yeah, the Hellfire Peaks Jiggy required 36 Jiggies to open, so. Okay, I went to the cliff top. But we're not going to enter that, we'll do that in the next, next video. Okay, there's a pair of Kazooie footprints. And the if you're wondering what a clock climber boots are, it's on top of Hellfire Peaks, so up there is a is a ginger up there that we got these clock numbers, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick just to kill in some more time. So okay, clock numbers are right here. Well guys, well guys, uh, this will do it for this recording session, so join me next time on Let's Play Banjo 2, where we'll enter World 7, Hellfire Peak, so. Hello. This is Geesecrest16 signing off. Later.